well in his speech. Uh, and the second is the future dispensation. What kind of government uh, will Afghanistan have? Uh, because remember that this process has started, even though it's an intra-Afghan dialogue, but the parties at the table identify themselves differently. Like, for example, the uh, Afghan government is representing the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan, whereas the Taliban identify themselves as the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan. Now, these are two different uh, programs uh, and, and political uh, thoughts and ideologies. And we don't know what exactly will be at the table. So I feel that uh, in the coming days, uh, if the government insists on uh, just the ceasefire without uh, giving details of the plan that it has, the roadmap that it has for the future, wherein how the Afghan uh, government, the current government, or any other government in the future will share power with the Taliban, uh, and what kind of role will they have? And then these key questions about human rights, women rights, and other issues that have been, um, uh, you know, th around uh, the Taliban's uh, thinking. So we have to see down the road. But I feel that these are the major uh, sticking points that that we will see, I think, right uh, in the beginning, uh, where, uh, you know, the first call for ceasefire and then the demand from Taliban that, okay, what will we get in return? Because uh, the Taliban are sitting there from their position and they feel that they are strong. The Afghan government has the support of uh, international community. And okay. Taliban also have some support. But I feel that they are coming from some positions of strength. So we have to see down the road how it uh, unfolds. Absolutely. And you